Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Chess Hits. Today I'll show the gameplay by Bilal and Daniel. And this beautiful game complete in only 16 moves. And let's see how the game starts. The game play with the pawn to d4, d5. And here you have the queen pawn opening. Then the white converted to queen game smith c4. And here the black reply with a c6. Then white play knight to f3, knight to f6 was played. After this, the white play e3 and the black play e6. And here you can see this three pawn, you have the semi slave structure in the opening. So after this, Knight c3 was played and the black play knight b to d7. So here is the first five move and you can see in this structure the white is better in the position. After this the white continue to play queen to c2 with the idea to develop the queen diagonal to bishop d3 and trying to attack the pawn at h7 and here the black play bishop to d6 preparing to go for a short casting and after this bishop to d3 was played developed the bishop and this allowed the white to go for a short casting after this the pawn d takes c4 and this forced the white to capture with the bishop. And after this, the black played a b5. And here is a good attack from the black and this pawn trying to attack the bishop. Then the bishop back to e2. And now the black developed another bishop to bishop b7. And here the white just continue to go for a short casting as well as the black also go to a short casting and here now you have the first turn move and the position white seems to be a solid the position and the game continue with the pawn to e4 then the black play e5 here, the white continue to capture the pawn. D takes e5 and the knight just capturing back. And after this, knight h4 was played with the idea of going to f5 and able to attack the pawn at g7. And then you can just bring your queen to d2 and then to g5 and just capture the pawn and you have the very simple checkmate with supported by the knight at f5 so after this queen c7 was played and now f4 from the white and here the white have a very strong in the attack with attacking the knight in the center of the square and if the knight move away then you can just push the pawn to e5 and attack both pieces the bishop at d6 and the knight at f6 so after this move knight at e move to g4 and here if the bishop is not at c1 you can have the knight to go to e3 and have a fork for the queen at c2 and also for the rook at f1 another suggestion that you can play that would be better for black is to play bishop to c5 and this will check the king and here they cannot put a bishop to e3 because it will just use the bishop to capture and win just one bishop and nothing can capture back the bishop 
So therefore, after the check, the king can move to h1. Then now the knight to g6, and this knight is attacking the pawn and also attacking the knight and force the black to go for force the white to go for the exchange. And this will be better for the white. So back to this position, knight e to g4 was split. And after this, the white must prevent the queen to b6 and continue check the king. And this will be a very strong attack from the black. So after this, Knight d1 was split and here g5 from the black and this pawn is attacking the knight and also the pawn and this is a very strong attack and with this we give the black will be better in the position so after g5 was split and in the actual game, the pawn f takes g5, thinking that the pawn is free and nothing can capture back the pawn. So, in the actual game, the white capture the pawn, and after capture the pawn, the black is winning and made him trick. I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure out how the continuation of the black to play and make in three. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the moves. The black play bishop to e5 and attack the king and this is a disaster for the white as the black is winning the game so after bishop c5 was split and now if you block with the bishop and this is the first system move and the white resign the game if you block with the bishop then the queen just capture the pawn and check made the king. And same as if you block with the knight, then the queen just capture and will be a checkmate as well. So after this check, you move the king to h1. Then the queen just capture and checkmate as well. So back to this version, if you block with the rook, then the queen will just capture as well. And if the king go inside, then you have a queen to h1 and checkmate the king. And here you have the back rank checkmate. And here, this g5 pawn is a very strong as you can see from this game. So, if you want to prevent the game from much deterioration for the white, as this bishop is a very strong in the attacking, the one of the suggestion that you can play with the white is move the knight forward to f5. So, after this move, the knight now planning to trade off the bishop and this gives less material for the black to continue attack the white. For example, if you use the bishop to capture the pawn, then the bishop will continue to capture and after pawn capture, then you have a queen to, to c1 and this queen will continue to attack and win one of the pawn and go for the exchange. And this will give white the better situation. 
and back to this scenario if you capture with the pawn g takes f4 and now the knight you just capture the bishop after queen capture then you can just use either of the rook or the bishop to continue to attack so for example if you use the rook to attack rook takes f4 then nothing much the white the black can do and if you move the bishop to c8 then the game will be much clearly better for the white and the game will keep on attacking and not, not much threat from the black again and back to this position if you use the bishop to text the knight for go for the action then the knight just capture and here after this always remember to bring the knight at the flank towards the center of the square so you can bring the knight from h4 to f4 and here after bishop capture then you have capture again and at this position you have the same position with the white is better in the game so after this you can use the pawn to capture then this pawn can be continued easily to capture back by the white and with this thank you